Skadoosh, my ninjas. Oh, welcome back. Joey Moss with Bad Boy Gaming. If you don't know already, spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, this is the Gideon spell book. Um, pretty sweet. You're going to get eight cards all geared around Gideon and his accomplishments throughout his awesome life here in Planeswalker world. But for those of you who don't know, spoiler alert, Gideon sacrificed himself for the greater good. So, yeah, Gideon is no longer with us in the fight against Bolas. Gideon has perished. I know, it's crazy, it's sad, it really is. Um, but here's the first card that appeared, Gideon, uh, just getting like a little makeover, you know, this was back in 2010, this Gideon uh, Planeswalker appeared, but all these eight, ex uh, exclu not exclusive cards, but all these eight cards, well I guess exclusive art, whatnot, you can only get in this Gideon Yora Planes, or just Gideon Planeswalker spellbook, all that good stuff. Uh, price tag, yet to be determined I think, but it's usually the same price as all the other ones. Uh, five drop, good old plus two during target opponent's next turn. Creatures that player controls attack Gideon or if able. If minus two, destroy target tapped creature, and it's zero. Until end of turn, Gideon Yor becomes a 6-6 six, six human soldier creature that's still a planeswalker. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn. He starts with six loyalty counters. Pretty cool. Good old Gideon. Black Blade Reforged. Uh, this guy already getting the reprint. Uh... Did it need one? No. It just came out back in Dominaria. Um, this is one card I speculated that would go up in price. There has been a slight movement, a slight tick up. Uh, it maybe jumped about 20%, but really nothing, uh, you know, no substantial gain here with Black Blade Reforged. Now that it got a reprint, I'm sure even less so. Uh, but uh, it is a very powerful um, legendary artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one for each land you control. And you can equip it to a legendary creature for three, or equip it to just a normal creature for seven. Uh, basically, uh, this card is awesome if used the correct way. Like, you have to have a card, like, probably would trample, or definitely have to have a flyer, you know, or just something along those lines. You know, you need something really, really powerful um, to equip this with, where you're going to be able to maximize the damage, you know. You need, like, if you put it on just a big old, you know, Lanoir Elf, for example. It's not going to do a whole lot, you know? <laughs> plus one, plus one for each land you control. Um, it just wouldn't do much. You know, you have to equip it to the right kind of creature. And uh, that cr creature better be a legendary one, or you're going to be paying a hefty amount to cast it, you know, or to equip it for seven. That's nine total. I can think of nine different things better. I can think of 9,000 different better cards I would, uh, or options I could play instead of equipping this for seven. Just throwing it out there. But Black Blade Reforged did get a reprint. Pretty interesting. Worship, this is another reprint. Uh, it's a four drop. I do like all the artwork on these. They are really, really cool, man. Uh, Worship's a four drop uh, enchantment. If you control a creature... Damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. I actually just signed to Urza Saga one of these and sent it out uh, to a fan this uh, this week. But not this version, but the original one, yeah. Um, very cool card. Worship's been around all the way since Saga. That was, what, 1998, if I'm not mistaken? Um, that's around the time when I first got into Magic. Uh, that was quite a long time ago. Gosh, I'm getting old. Guys, am I getting old? Am I getting gray spots? Did my, no, my my hair's still like a blondish, like reddish? Cool. Okay, hurry. Strawberry blonde. Um, but yeah, this car's been out for a while. Even after all that befell Amonkhet, Gideon never believed that his trust in Oketra was misplaced. That's a, the, the story's pretty cool. If you guys wanted me to do a whole cover on the story about all this, I could make a video about that, but I definitely have to know your thoughts on that. It would have to be like uh, majority rules, you know. True Conviction is a six drop. All these cards are reprints. Nothing here is unique. Nothing here is new. Um, it's an enchantment. Creatures you control have Double Strike and Lifelink. That, my friends, is insanely powerful. I think this card um, currently, I think it's going for $12 a piece. I, I could be mistaken if it's this one. I don't want to, don't quote me on that. There was another card I looked up. Yeah, the Martyr one. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, but Creatures You Control have Double Strike and Life Link. That is powerful, man. You drop this sucker. Just imagine everything with Double Strike and Life Link. Every one of your creatures. 
that's big. That's big stuff, man. Um, Pentis gets a lot of play in Commander. <coughs> Heroism is more than a single act. It is hundreds of small decisions made every day in pursuit of a heroic cause. True conviction. Well said, Gideon, my friend. A well said. Did Gideon say that? No, that's just a narrator. That's just a narrator. Calm down. Path to Exile is a one drop. It got the reprint. Pretty cool. Instant exile target creature. Its controller may search their library for a basic land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle their library. That is a very powerful card. Indeed. Is he going? Who's he fighting right there? Looks like he's fighting like a demon. Is it supposed to be Nicole Bolas he's fighting right here? It doesn't look like Bolas. Not from that angle. It looks like a demon. Anybody else? Dragons and demons. Very similar, though. For sure. Oh, I like the new stamps on it, too. Did you guys see that? Let's check out the new stamp. So, like, they even got, like, a little new, like, stamp art there. It's pretty cool. But Path to Exile has been around for a very long time. It's always been one of the game's most uh, powerful removals because it is just a one-drop. And it exiles a creature. It doesn't destroy it. Exiles it, you know. And uh, for those of you newer, I mean, Exile is a lot more powerful than Destroy. Destroy is going to your graveyard. Exile, this thing's just, you know, like, it's out there somewhere floating around. It's in the Exile pile, which is a lot more difficult to bring back a card from Exile than it is to bring back from the graveyard. Graveyard's quite simple. There is only a few cards out there that take something from Exile and bring it back to your, you know, hand or whatever. Not many, trust me. There's not many out there. If you can name some, please let me know. But Path of Exile did get the reprint. Cool artwork on that one. Martyr's Bond. This is the only one I know the price of, uh, simply because I just looked it up right before. Um, it's like $12, $11 right now, um, the original version of this. Martyr's Bond is a six-drop enchantment when Martyr's Bond or another non-land permanent you control is put into a graveyard from the battlefield. Each opponent sacrifices a permanent that shares a card type with it. That's pretty cool because um, whenever you're down, your opponent is going to be down too. And um, I can definitely see this getting hefty play in Commander. Commander, any card is really well in Commander if it affects everyone else as well. <laughs> Basically, you know, or any opponent. Um, a lot of cards will say... Um, if it says each opponent, you know, so you're looking for several targets or several different uses. You know, several other players are going to be impacted by this. Um, also, when you have cards like this, you also become one of the targets of the game because no one wants to deal with a martyr of the bond on the battlefield. Do you understand, Billy? It's just not that good. <laughs> um, to, it, well, it's a good card. It's just not good to go up against. So, yeah, powerful card, six drop. Um, it got the reprint. One life at a time. That is how the world will be saved. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful quote. I do like that. He is a martyr. Gideon. Who saw it? Who called Gideon uh, kick in the bucket here? Did you call Gideon kick at the bucket? I didn't call Gideon, Gideon kick in the bucket. I wasn't sure who was going to lose. Shielded by Faith. Awesome. They did great artwork on this. I love this. This is very dark, like, demonic like devils or something or just some, some kind of crazy things are going at him attacking him here good thing he has that armor on because it looks like man that one would just get his arm and rip it right off you know uh enchant creature enchanted creature has indestructible whenever a creature enters the battlefield you may attach shielded by faith to that creature that's powerful Whenever a creature is a battlefield, you can just equip it to it. I mean, it's kind of a weird equipment thing. Um, I guess you can enchant whatever creature you want, but then whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you can just put it on that one. I, I like that. It's, it's like a... Not a static ability. That is a name for it, though. But it, it's already out there, and if something better comes along, well, uh, you know, now I want this big old trample creature or this big old a hexproof creature, you know. I'm going to put it on that. Just enter the battlefield, bada bang. You know, equip it. Shield by faith. Very powerful card, to, not, to say the least. Um, Gideon, rest in peace. It got the reprint. It's a two drop. When rest in peace enters the battlefield, exile all cards from all graveyards. 
If a card or token would be put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it instead. I will keep watch. Gideon, you have served us well. It's good this card got a reprint because it was at like 15, 16 bucks and just, it just continued to climb. So it did need a reprint and it wasn't even printed that long ago. I think, it was, was it Theros or somewhere around that block? I know it wasn't that long ago. I don't, I don't know if Theros is right. But yeah, uh, there you have it. There, there's this is whole spell book. Pretty cool. These cards are very nice because uh, they have a unique artwork, you know, and uh, they're, they're sought after reprints. There you go. Let me know what you guys think of the set. You're going to go pick up one? If so, I'd like to hear about it. Skadoosh.